us news to talk about so there was a bit of news bubbling up on my side of twitter regarding sneakers and regarding the nike general purpose shoe and the story was that these are going to come back out again right in this sort of like reggae reggae colorway i would call it right with the white with the yellow swoosh and the green heel tabs and or poor tap sorry there were some rumors that they were going to come back out which was surprising to me because nike made a big kerfuffle out of cancelling and distancing themselves from tom Sachs after that um article came out i think on grub street basically detailing that tom Sachs isn't the most warm and cuddly boss which should be no surprise to anybody when you take one hard look at the guy but i would have thought for the success of tom Sachs and his collaborations with nike they would make some exceptions they'll turn a blind eye and they'll keep churning out these shoes because they are money in a bank and they are fucking fantastic and selfishly I want a pair of those Mars Yards rubberized that were meant to be coming out where testers got a pair and we never saw them. They're annoying. If they don't get them, I have to go to fucking Shenzhen and get like an unauthorized fake pair to go wear them because I fucking want a pair of those shoes again to wear because like I always say, they're one of the most complimented sneakers I've ever had in my entire life. Like no one compliments me for my sneaker choices because usually I've got very eclectic, let's say, choices in sneakers. But the Mars Yards, the original ones, the two point or the one, you know, one point zero and the two point zero were some of the only shoes I got a lot of compliments from Normie from. They really like them. And I really like them too because I was super versatile and worked with more outfits same goes for the general purpose shoe i went to jump on that hype and get involved but then since tom Sachs has left it's hard to get new ones now because they're not bringing out any more new ones so when i saw this news that they were going to bring out this particular colorway um i was really excited right but it's an oregon friendly color but allegedly that's not going to be true it's just like a rumor that was put out there but i don't think they're going to change their mind even though I'm somebody that says, you know, you can let fucking Tom Sachs throw as many moleskins at me as he wants if that means I'm going to get a pair of his shoes because I think, you know, most people with common sense would have known that Tom Sachs was a bit of a nutty guy, but you make it work because you know the work's going to be amazing. But, you know, Nike want to get on their moral high horse and whatever it may be and fire him. And now they're without all the monies in the bank that would have come from selling this amazing shoe that everybody is loving which i would have loved also um really amazing shoe nice to wear and again i think it fills a void because it's kind of like similar to like a I mean, not, not like a, not, is it a Lava Dome or a Lavar? I forgot which one I have, the ACG one, but it kind of fills that void of having a shoe that maybe isn't as uncomfortable as that shoe, but you can wear day in, day out, and it's very versatile when it comes to outfits and stuff. So I would have liked to have seen it. Unfortunately, it's not going to happen. I don't think, I think those allegations against Tom Sachs and Grub Street were just too you know um toxic um for them to kind of get near but the article here on sneaker news says as follows um given the controversy surrounding the man himself it's no surprise that nike craft came to the screeching halt but despite the announcing that they would be distanced off from the artist it appears the switch could be in talks with sax as a brand new colorway has just surfaced with official image online so it's the official images via nike so i wonder if i don't think it's going to be him collaboration if I if Nike is to be believed of how they deal with things, most likely they signed a deal where he got a fee. I don't think he's gonna I don't think the shoes coming out is dependent on him. Nike probably still own the IP. So they have all these shoes that were due to come out. Instead of destroying them, they're gonna sell them. But they're not gonna have him do any activations. He's not gonna get any pictures. He's not gonna get any pairs to send to his friends. He won't be able to do a cool Instagram fucking thing with it. Unless he buys them himself, that is. So I think they're just gonna put out what they have left. So maybe this is the last colorway. Um, that'll be sad if it is, but this might be it. Because they are official images. I just clocked they are in it. Even the layout and you know, they look like yeah, they're official Nike images. Um with only three styles. Um, making their way to the shelves. Numerous iterations of Nike General Purpose shoe have surfaced over the course of the year. This includes a pair pictured here, whose colorway primarily consists of a neutral tones alongside a black and a outsole, laces and heel tabs, and the shoe features the upper made of white mesh unders and tan suede overlays. Colors in this are relegated to swoosh with port tabs, which are dressed in university gold and pine green. Enjoy the closer look, detailed look of Tom Sachs' General Purpose shoe. At the time of writing, it is unconfirmed where this color is releasing. So we don't know. We don't know, but it's looking encouraging because it's official Nike images. So let's see what happens. Again, a big shame that this collaboration was cancelled. Same way the Yeezy one was cancelled. I think they could have weathered the storm and still have those two people on their brands. But hey, it kind of is what it is. And I guess they've got two big holes now they have to fill. No pausing needed to kind of make sure they put out products. So I wonder what, who Nike is going to replace Tom Sachs with. And I'm also wondering who, who who adas is going to replace yeezy with 
Um, the Tom's maybe the Nike one. Tom Sachs going forward, maybe they could just do it with um, Heron Presson. He's basically molding his career kind of like in his direction, right? So maybe a good way to kind of replace him would be getting you know, Heron involved. I think he would do some interesting stuff over that Nike if given some resources and shit. And it was obviously he's used to working with them because he legitimately used to work for them. Um, so that might be something that would make sense. Who knows? Let's see what happens going forward. I wish I could get a pair. I really like that shoe. One of my favorite shoes. But hey, Tom Sachs decided to throw moleskins and you know, Stabilo Boss's highlight, Stabilo Boss highlight is that his assistants and shit in the studio. Nike didn't like that and they dissed himself. Whereas I say, he can throw one at my nuts, mate, if I'm going to get those rubberized Mars yards. But, you know, I guess it's not happening. I guess it is not happening. What can you do? 